Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first trial run or episode of Cyclops Road, depending on how well this works. <laughs> I am your host, Tom Malazzo. My guest, Mark Biaggi. Yes. Yes. Right, right <laughs> Got after it. only a Nailed it. practice. <laughs> Voice actor. We have both our URLs up there for looking at us. So if you are seeing this online, that means we're happy with the way things worked out on this. Uh, Absolutely. It's, a, it's sort of an experiment. We are both gamers and we are experimenting with online gaming like the kids do, uh, except instead of D&D, we're picking a game, uh, in this case, called Microscope. So Microscope is a world building game and we are starting with a blank slate, well, almost a completely blank slate. We have come up with something so far. Uh, Mark, why don't you talk a little bit about yourself? Um, as Don said, I'm a voice actor. I'm also uh, doing on camera work as well. Uh, I do. A lot, I've been a gamer for ages. So I mean, I started with the original D and D, uh, and I, I also as an actor, I've done a lot of improv training. And I find that role playing and improv have a lot in common. In fact, I think role playing games are very much a structured form of improv. And uh, one of the things I liked about this game, uh, Microscope, that we're going to play today is that it really is a collaborative world building and, and uh, mm -hmm. an environment where you use a lot of those types of skills. And uh, it's very much something I enjoy doing when I GM. And, uh, and even when I'm a player, I think when you have an opportunity to contribute to a unique world that you're gonna be playing in, uh, it's, it's really makes the game a much richer experience. And so I very much enjoy it, so. It's almost got, it's unfortunate that it has the word game in the title because when you yeah. try and explain a role-playing game to somebody, they fixate on that. I remember when I was involved in the Vampire LARP and mm -hmm. you know, being a bunch of goths after the event, we'd go to a Denny's <laughs> and as per tradition of the culture and i remember yeah the waiter trying to we're trying to explain what we were doing to the waiter and he's just had his <laughs> hand in his head and he's just like but how do you win it's like yeah they're really everybody wins you know if you do it right everybody's a winner um i think in fact for me in role playing i think when you screw up, when you when you roll badly and you you have a fumble or something like that, that leads to some of the most interesting events in a game. Mm -hmm. um, if you're always successful, um, I don't think you learn anything as a player, or or and, and the character certainly doesn't grow as much mm -hmm. as when they are challenged with uh, having to deal with a failure and then cope with that. And how do they adapt? Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of people if they come at it with the winning mentality and role-playing games aren't as happy because you cannot be good at everything. You can't win all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, if, if you win, it's a team win. I think is the, the important thing is to look at it since it's really not a competitive environment. It's your collaborative storytellers, right? You know, a game master who's guiding us along with a, a general storyline, but even the game master may have certain story points that they want to hit but um, it's not like everything is going to happen exactly as they predict. It, mm -hmm. it just doesn't work that way. I mean, I think the, in the early days of Dungeons and Dragons, when it was much more of a, a dungeon crawl and you were just going room to room and it had no sense why somebody next door was next door to this other thing, you know, mm -hmm. locked in a room. Where do they go to the bathroom? You know, what do they eat? How is this <laughs> not killing the other one? What's the actual <laughs> purpose here? Um, it, it didn't make much sense. And early on, I was trying to find more with my characters. So I was never satisfied with that type of gaming. And as things developed more and and we really, yeah, I, I developed a better uh, group of players that were much more story oriented and, and much more uh, into telling a tale as uh, like you did with Vampire LARP. Um, I've not played a lot of LARPs, to be quite honest. I've done more tabletop role playing um, and some online. Um, and uh, they each have different different strengths and weaknesses to them. But um, I'd like to, to do a LARP someday, I think. So it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't know what the the LARP scene is like. Either they're they're not out there or they're hiding. Yeah, I think I had friends invitation that did, only maybe. Yeah, I had friends that did invitation only LARPs in the beginning for um, quite a long time, and they were all originally designed games and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they um, they ended up uh, it just kind of disbanded over time, and that's like before 
that was well before like Vampire, which I think Vampire the Masquerade was the first real well established LARP that mm-hmm. was pretty common that a lot of people were playing in a lot of different cities. Um, and I know San Diego, I ran into LARPers before playing downtown and I knew what they were doing. And I had friends with me and they go, that person's dressed real weird. And I go, they're playing Vampire <laughs> right now. Be careful. <laughs> so, just go with it there. Yeah. So I could tell what was going on, but you know. Um, I think, uh, I, I, I enjoy the fact that as a character actor, I can develop characters and immerse myself in them, mm-hmm. uh, come up with backstory. Um, I do a lot of research. In fact, I probably have on a bunch of bad lists like many writers are because of the type of research I do for backstory, um, <laughs> probably puts me on a lot of bad people's lists, um, with different terms and stuff like that, that are not the normal types of search terms that you, <laughs> a regular person would put in there. But I have a feeling they must have something tagged on my account that says, Oh, it's that Piaggi guy again, just, <laughs> just a gamer. He's doing a new character. So they must have that for a lot of us out there, I figure. All right. Uh, so let, why don't we get started on this? So this is yeah. Be, let's uh, do it. We're using uh, shout out to Uggers Chronicles. I think it's called. I'll put a link in the show notes. It's a friendly web developer, really fan of the game, has created this interface that we're going to explore. So Mark, you've never played Microscope. I've played a couple I have times. Not. But it's uh, been all right. A so long we are. Time. This is the interface. Uh, we've, so we are uh, just going to the high go concept. The we're going to go with. Uh, uh, how old is the game so tone? Rogers, I I didn't uh, see how how old it was. Um, do you happen to know? Uh, so pick up my copy here, and it looks like it was published in 2011. 40 cycle. Oh, okay, so it's fairly okay. new. Yeah. Uh, so that was the first. Step. Well, for us. Uh, second step is look into history. Make a start. We're old guys. All right. So come on over here. Add period. And what should we do for a start or end period? Interesting. Um, maybe the, like Rod, maybe, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> uh, a starting point is usually like what it branches off from our history. If we're going right. to be in our solar system or actually that's a good decision. We haven't even decided that if we're going to be in our solar system or a fictional one. Um, that's a good question. Um, I kind of like a divergence from our history at some point, Mm -hmm. like something really uh, made things happen differently. Like maybe Werner uh, Werner von Braun actually created a real rocket ship that could carry people up, not Mm -hmm. just, you know, uh, rockets that were used for war, but they actually developed a rocket that could get people into space earlier at that point in time. And you're kind of, it's a little bit later though. That's 1940s, but Mm -hmm. um but something along those lines, I think, would be interesting. Of course, I don't necessarily want this to be Nazis in space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know, something like that could be good. Or um, what was the H.G. Wells one where um, First Man in the Moon, where they he developed an anti-grav type, uh, it was very steampunkish, where he had an anti-grav substance that was able to you know, they were able to use this sort of bathosphere to go to go to the moon mm-hmm. with this anti-grav device. Um, I think something like that would be interesting, like a novel technology is developed. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think? Uh, there is that. Um, I was thinking there was something I saw on uh, a YouTube video a while ago, the possibility of churning the sun into an engine for a rocket. Ooh. And then because all the planets are locked to the sun's gravity you can literally move the solar system oh wow so so either... it's actually you know, the solar system is your spaceship yes so okay um, another solar system <laughs> comes to our system and then then that's where all the aliens come from all the technology comes from is they're passing by got it oh that's interesting um or is it an event that just to put us somewhere different like maybe a uh some sort of odd spatial anomaly passes through the solar system and Mm -hmm. interacts with the the sun and that's what caused it in the first place or maybe that becomes permanent Mm -hmm. once it once it links onto an object of sufficient gravity and uh or you know some sort of specific uh uh context like you know our sun has that capability and enough energy that output that it it causes this to happen hmm hmm all right uh or is that a cyclic event 
that yeah. happens every so often and then we get pushed off to some new place hmm so like the this or oh, wait are we getting ahead of ourselves because it just needs to be an a event right i mean a little oh, like bit a but there's, yeah there's no reason to, to not tie it into this other stuff uh okay hmm i like i kind of like the idea of that um it's it's interesting i like the idea of display Placed stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. I always thought that Space 1999 was an incredibly silly premise, but um, and it's a silly show. But you know, it's like, why not the whole? Who cares about just the moon? What about the whole solar system goes oh, for oh, the definitely. ride? Yeah. Um, but that doesn't give us rocket ships yet. <laughs> but um, maybe that comes in mm -hmm. with the other folks that, that we end up using their technology. Why don't we uh, keep it simple for now? And okay. Uh, Oh, um, may, uh, maybe instead of rocket a rocket ship or an anti-gravity or something like that being the breakthrough technology, it's communications, and then that information comes to us through the communication. So like a space radio is invented. Okay. I'm okay. cool with that. Space radio invented. Let's make that be okay, the first so event. Who, what's the name of the doctor who invents the space radio? Uh, uh uh let's see we're going with very much a certain milieu um hmm. i get, get out of my head dr zarkov <laughs> um <laughs> let me think um let's make it a woman mm -hmm. um dr constance and you do the last name you get real last name okay Dr. Constance McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy. <laughs> she must be a redhead. <laughs> <laughs> I am probably not spelling that right. I wonder, I'd be very surprised. I don't even was... remember how it's spelled. It is a weird spelling, as I recall. Yeah, and of course, it's not any kind of spell checker, so it's oh, the no. way it is. Uh, <laughs> okay, and then we decide, is that tone light or dark? I think it's light. Yeah, I think so, too. Okay. Cool. All right. Are you seeing that on your display? I sure am. Excellent. So, um, okay. So that's the beginning. Now we got to come up with the end. This is space opera, right? Mm -hmm. um, Earth becomes the center of a galactic empire. I like it. Something I hadn't considered with this is like everyone's going to see how terrible a typist I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so low. Oh, I think Cut McGill McGillicuddy, I think it's with D's instead of a Y. I mean, a T. Okay, I can go back and try that. Uh, no, it's okay. I mean, I'm just thinking out loud when I'm looking at it. But okay. I like it. It's your name. <laughs> it can be spelled exactly the way it is. That's, That's the way you spell it. Is this going to be light or dark? I like, since we're talking space opera, you know, the ending, everything kind of comes together in a beautiful way. I'd say light okay. for me. I think that fits cool. the tone better. All right. All right. So those are our bookends. And then okay. we work on our palette, which is down here. Okay. Oh, here. Add item. Okay. So two items that are by default in this game is there's no immortals. Right. I just want to add them. Okay. I want to know no magic. I want all this to be sort of science-y or have some sort of base in well, even though it's space opera, mm -hmm. I, I just don't want I don't want foo-foo magic. Okay. So you're taking the first turn and you're saying no magic. Oh, I like no time travel too. That's good. Well, you that one's there that mechanically on the because oh, it we, is. we as the players can jump back and forth through time. If right. The characters can also jump back and forth in, in time. The whole thing becomes flat again. It gets really confusing. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So that was so you want to add a yes that you must include? Mm -hmm. uh, tight space. Short distances between locations. I just so that way is that's how you spell stellar. S T E L L R. Yes, L L A R. Yeah, stellar. Interstellar. <laughs> I know I spell that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, just because uh, so that way we don't have to like hand wave faster faster than light. Sure. Tight space, short distances between space objects. I like that. So we're kind of confining us to the expanded solar system mm -hmm. type thing That's what that we're thinking. talking about. Okay. Um, and I get to add another yes. I want aliens. Okay. And they can be humanoid or not. I think both. Both humanoid and non-humanoid aliens. Is that more than one thing? No, that's fine. Okay. All right. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see. Add an item. Um... <laughs> Wonder. Uh... I'm thinking about computers. Mm. And yeah. How much? How much tech do we want in this? I kind of think that if you start leaning onto computers in the wrong way, it stops being space opera. I think so too. I mean, you, you we do have droids as a model for certain things. Maybe. Um, so maybe computer networks. Yeah. So you can still have like a really powerful computer at a location, but if you're they're not networked together, that's a little bit different. Okay. So that's a yes, or is that, that a, was no? a no? Okay, no computer networks. So okay, got it. Um. How about robots, but no androids? Okay, uh, so we, how about we just do no androids? Yeah, okay. So robots cannot pass for humans. Right, robots can't pass for humans. That's probably a better way to say it. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else do we want in the uh, yeses? Right. Yes. So you've got a yes now. Or yeah, we should start having some more yeses in here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say uh, one Earth government. Okay. So we have one Earth government. Got it. Um, we have, what else? Um, I, I don't know if this expands on tight space, um, but uh, I don't want it to take like months to go to a different planet. I want to mm -hmm. be able to do, do short jumps possible. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe with the rocket ships, they're capable of short jumps only. Mm -hmm. That's what actually, yeah, I think that's what system. I was accounting is that, for with tight space. Is that what you're saying? Okay, yeah. cool. All right. So we're expanding on that just a little bit by saying that then. Um, good, because that's where I was foreseeing this too. Um, hmm. Uh, Gotta add something more. Let me look at the list again. And no mortals, no time travel. We need yeses, aliens, one Earth government. Um, uh, let's put. Um, hmm. We've got the space radio, which was really important. That's already established in there. We're doing that. We're doing the other stuff. Hang on. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, are we still talking about maybe the, the solar systems merging through some of this or just technology coming in? Uh, so far it is just through the radio. Okay. But there can't that uh, that could be something that sounds more like a, a period kind of thing or an event. Okay. Then maybe um they're, the only way to go between solar systems is some sort of Stargate technology. Okay. Or or some jump, some special jump gate. Let's see if we can come up with a name that isn't copyrighted. Uh, yeah. Space tunnels? Space tunnels. I like it. And that's one of the first things that we're taught how to build from the mm -hmm. space radio, I think. Well, that, that comes next. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, so it's my turn, right? Yep. Okay. Hmm. I forget what the name is for that sort of 1950s hero, the guy, you know, the two-fisted scientist. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, like there's the Bionic hero, and then there's, ah, geez, I can't remember the name of it. You mean as far as the trope? Yeah, there's a trope named for uh, square-jawed scientists who solve problems with their mind and their fists. Uh Aha. It's kind of a doc savage thing in a way no, it's kind of yeah. too early but yeah. but yeah but but of that similar vein like the the, yeah. the great man who's capable of everything oh man um professor wunderkind <laughs> 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 no that's the one who can knows everything um and as a kid that's that's wesley crusher in a nutshell um well i can't think of the name so i'm not gonna yeah, don't uh, worry about the name because we can add characters later, right? As right, part right, of the right. mechanic with this. Well, I was thinking about as a as a genre, but um, I don't okay. really have anything off of that anyway. Um, well, how about how about just just put the put the trope? Uh, but then I'm not sure how I'm going to spin it either. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, um, how about larger than life characters as a yes? Oh, okay. I'll go actually go with what I just said before. Two fifths of men of science. There you go. See, use the trope. It's worth it. I think it works as a palette very well. Tropes and in, in mm-hmm. as far as that goes, that makes sense to me. Um, how about instead of just men, let's say two fisted people of science. Okay. Just let me edit. Yeah, <laughs> so they're not just men. Not just men. Yes. They could be women too. There you go, um, and uh, we'll keep it open to the to the ladies who can kick ass as well, because <laughs> um, those are some of my favorite characters out there. Actually, um, let's see uh, another yes or a no. Let's see. I like the, I like our nose so far. Um, Yes. Um, we already have ray guns and rocket ships are clearly part of this. Um, so I don't think we need to put anything in the yes about that. We've talked about the distances they could travel. Um, do we want to talk about size, maybe? Um, I don't know that, that necessarily. Ma- uh, we Now we'll deal with that in the other other phases. I'm pretty good with most of these right I now. So I think as a start, I think okay. that's that's a good 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 palette to start with. Okay, all right. And if we're both happy with the palette, group discussions are now over. Okay, so first pass. Each player makes a period or event in any order. So go ahead and come up um, with a period or event. Okay. Um, the first space tunnel opens in Earth's solar system. Okay. That's a period. Or Earth joins the space tunnel network. Okay. There you go. Is that light or dark? Um, I think it starts out. We think it's light, but it really is dark. Uh, okay. Because well, we're we... not prepared. Hmm. I'm thinking okay. maybe or maybe not. I don't know. What do you think? Uh. Yeah, let's go with dark. I, mean, I think, like that, you said, it, it would start out light, but ultimately. And that needs to come before the other, so you just click and drag that. Uh, hopefully. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, That's obviously an early period. Mm-hmm. I'm going to add uh, Titan. We all know that Titan's a moon, right? Occupied by uh, It's hard to come up with names that are clear, but yeah. also don't start with just space something. Yeah. 
uh, crustacean crustacean Ooh. elements. I guess we could refine that later if we want to. So we're getting uh, we're getting crabs on Titan. <laughs> yep. Space crabs. I spelled that very wrong. I can't find the station. Google knows, knows how I spell things. That's all See? right. We're human. That's what spell checkers are for. <laughs> exactly. Although sometimes they're really wrong <laughs> when you're dealing with <laughs> names. Oh, I love it when I completely kick a spell checker's ass. I, they have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so let's give it a name. Um, and Z Lex. The Z Lex? Yeah. Okay, got it. I like it. Sounds alien. Okay, so they got to they got to Titan before humanity does. Ah. So they're squatting in our property. <laughs> After the, the space tun tunnel opens, you know, people start moving into unclaimed territory and we're like, hey, wait a second. This mm -hmm. is our solar system. I like it. I like it. Okay, so that was first pass. Okay. So we do more periods now or uh, now we now we're going to second phase of, okay. of gameplay. So uh, you'll go ahead and go first. Um, declare the focus of the elements that we have up now. Um, hmm, let me look down. It has to be on the yes side, not the nose, right? Generally, on the focus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I already talked a little bit about the space tunnels and aliens with those two periods, but we can build on that. Um, let's do um, one Earth government. Okay. So let's see if you can define the focus. Okay. Um, give me a little bit more of an idea of uh, no, I mean, rules-wise uh, what they mean. Just on the interface. Uh, and what oh, you, just oh said, you want yeah. me to do it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. And and what you said right there, the Earth, uh, one Earth government, that's totally fine as a focus. Yeah. Okay. I know one of the things, just to make it clear to the people watching, um, is that we're really not supposed to block the creative process of our collaborative players here. So it's really more giving rules clarification when they're adding something to the world rather than telling them, no, don't do it that way. Do something <laughs> else. Um, so I think... Um, and I can do either a period or a scene at this point, or just periods. I still. think as the because you're the lens. Yes. You can do one. You can do two. Okay, so let's see. Each player takes a turn and makes either a period, event, or a scene. Start with the lens and go around the table to the left. The lens is allowed to make two nested things. Uh, okay. A period with an event inside it, or an event with a scene inside it. Ah, okay. So you can make two things, but they have to be one inside the other. Okay. So. Um... I think the period is going to be um, uh, one Earth movement. Does that make sense to create the one Earth government? Or are we saying oh, that yeah. one Earth government has always been in existence no, no, in this can, timeline? No, no, it can come in existence during this. Okay, so we're going to call it the the period is the one Earth movement, and it comes after the space tunnel network, I think. Okay. When we realize that we can't, we have to be, if we're going to do anything, we have to all work together, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where I'm going. So let me add, so let me add the period. So I get a little practice here. So one Earth movement. And that is largely positive i think do you just click and drag it or yeah in the top left corner there's a little menu i uh, see it sandwich. got it Hamburger. thank you got it all right all right so and i'm going to add an event within that which is um alien invasion i'm gonna that's dark <laughs> and let's uh let's give it uh um Let's 
be more specific. Invasion of of the uh, the Kylans. I don't know what they are yet, but we'll mm -hmm. we'll get through that. So that's that's why we had to come together because of the, or at least one of the factors related to that is the invasion of the Kylans. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. I, all right. So you, you've got a one Earth government. I want to add uh, nationalist counter revolutionaries. Ooh. To that, I'm not sure if I want that to be a scene. It sounds almost like a scene, but it could yeah. be part of a. Could that be? Is that related? Is that before the that's, the One Earth movement? That's the question. Like, okay, so One Earth movement. This would be like the entire history of it. So we probably this period does not start with the One Earth movement, but it's no, it the doesn't. Formation thereof, right? Um, and then the 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 counter nationalist. Okay, so I think actually, it's another event. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I, I want. <laughs> I want nationalists to form an alliance with the Kylans. Ooh, that sounds like it could be a scene or an event. Yeah. Okay, let's make it a scene. Okay. Um, okay. So you have to ask a question, right, yeah. in a scene. So. Uh, so how did the uh, what kind of nationalist identity? There's a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. we kind of We're kind of living in, in a country that's <laughs> kind of got one right now. Um, uh, let's see. Well, do you want to keep it USA centric? I mean, yeah, might as well. Um, okay. okay. So the okay the new Confederate States of America uh, ally themselves. To the, and this is, let me move this out of the way. Nope. Okay. K Y L A Ns. Mm hmm. All right. And then the scene would be so, okay, so the invasion has already started. How do the uh, Confederate states approach the Kylans and offer their fealty? Hmm. Um, prisoners of war. Oh, they, yeah, they've, uh, Prison camp. Okay. I'm not seeing anything updating yet. Did okay. you have something I, I, yet? I've got a module, a module that is opened up. So that's oh, I see. transporting okay. itself. Yeah. When I hit save, it'll, it'll port itself over. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in a prison camp. Yeah. Let's do it. You know, in, an when you say it's a prison camp, if you say it's an Earth prison camp, does that mean the people in Earth, uh, Earthlings are in the prison camp? Or does that mean the Earthlings are running the prison camp? Um, hmm. What would you prefer? What are you seeing in your head? I'm seeing that uh, the Kylans have taken uh, a number of humans prisoner. And they, uh, the CSA guys, infiltrate that way just to get contact. Okay. Um, so to me, it could be either way. I could see them having a beachhead on earth. Yeah. Uh, I'm just worrying about the, the name of, in a, okay. So, uh, okay. I'll write it another way. CSA agents infiltrate prison. So is that an event? This is a scene. Uh, but oh, I'm that's setting, scene. Setting, okay. setting up the scene. Oh, I see. I got it. Camp to contact Kyrthen General. Okay. Okay. Okay, so either uh, a Kylan general has been taken captive, and then the CSA agents are going to bust it. Okay, the, to, okay, to, to, uh, and offer...
to uh, help. This is sounding interesting. I like it. So they offered to help him escape in exchange for preferred status or something. His allegiance. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So, uh, so going over the rules of a scene again. Uh, choose whether to play or dictate the scene. Let's play it out. Um, okay. If you may must relate. To the focus set by the lens, do not contradict what I just said. Uh, and then there's, okay, playing a scene. Uh, always move towards answering the question of the scene. Okay. Okay. Um, have you have you saved it? Because I'm not seeing oh, it on my I'll, interface I'll go ahead yet. And save it. Okay. There you go. There we go. How did the CSA ally themselves to the Kylan? CSA agents infiltrate prison camp to contact uh, Kylan General and order in in order and over to help him escape in exchange for his allegiance. Okay, got it. Okay, I just wanna add. And then do you click on this? Oh, I see, then the upper right-hand corner is where we edit or mm -hmm. add components to it. Mm -hmm. but, okay, got it. All right, so uh, let's see. We'll definitely need that general. Yep. And we'll need uh, a CSA agent. I don't think we need much more than that. I don't think you do. All right, uh, which one do you wanna play? I'll play the Kylan General. Okay. And I'll play the suspiciously southern accented CSA guy. <laughs> uh, Let's come up with names, I guess, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Kylan General. Uh, what's his name? And I know. Uh, Kylan General's name is. Debrack. Debrack. Spell it how you want. D E B R A K. Okay. And General Debrack. I don't see where we add stuff to the scene though. I'm looking at edit. It lets you edit the scene and the question. Is is that an answer at that point or no? Oh uh yeah, that's the only thing else we I'm 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 adding the characters to the scene description. Okay, got it. And then uh, when we're finished out playing the scene, we'll have the answer. Got it. Okay. Uh, so CSA, uh, new CSA agents. And what's your CSA agent called? Led by, what's a good Civil War name? Like Obadiah. Oh, I like it. I'm definitely spelling that wrong. <laughs> O-B-E-D-I-A-H. Obadiah Wilkes. How about Wilkes? Does that work? Yep. I'm thinking of John Wilkes Booth, so. <laughs> or I could do Obadiah Booth. <laughs> no, nah, I've already typed Wilkes. <clears throat> All right. I'll be Obadiah Wilkes. Okay, so Debrack. What kind of uh, prison cell is Debrack in? Um, he is in a... Um, probably at, like... One of those um, NSA type that's you know not on the map anywhere. Nobody knows really where it is generally. Mm -hmm. um, dark dungeony type thing, but not in America actually. Somewhere else where the Americans can can not uh, have to deal with the the uncomfortableness of doing things to a prisoner that they are not normally allowed to by law. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he's been tortured. Mm -hmm. He's been in a facility that's been tortured. He is like in between torture sessions. And so he is, uh, he is kind of in recovery, but he's definitely hurt. Um, do I need to describe what the Kylans look like too? Should I at this point? If you feel like it. Yeah. I think they're, um, to me, um, I'm getting a sense of a, uh, a large frame, probably uh, in general about seven feet tall. Um, very well muscled. I think they've got. Um, oh, let's go Barsoomian with them. They've got uh, four sets of, or they've got uh, two two pairs of arms. They've got four arms, um, or arm-like appendages, um, and they're somewhat uh, lizard-like. To to us, 
Okay, so large forearmed reptoids. I'll add that to there. Yeah. All right. So he's in. He's in right now a holding cell, um, mm -hmm. in between his his interrogations that have been going on. All right. Uh, all right. So, uh, General Debrac is is in darkness, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a a click in the, a click at the door, and uh, a, a American soldier with a beard. Uh, comes in and goes, oh, it's a shame. Shame what they've done to you. No general should be treated like this. And he comes over to uh, offer you some food. And, uh... Why he, should I trust you, human? Ah, uh, well... I might be your best way of getting out of here. But you, there's got to be a little tit for tat, you understand. He gives you an appraising look, and he thinks this is another trick. See, uh, I ain't happy about the way things are running around here either, and uh, what they've done to you is part of it. So, let's just say humans ain't all on the same side. We want to send a message that some of us can be, how to say, um, worked with. We just want our little spot of territory that's for us, and you can have the rest. It's an interesting offer. Why should we not just take it for ourselves? I don't think you're in a position to take much of anything right now, sir. You have a point. So take this as a sign of good faith. I'm going to get you out of here. Do you and have you just one remember, of the... Do you have a space communicator so I can communicate back to my fleet? I will hand that to you when we're off the premises. What is your name, human? Obadiah Wilkes. And after this, I might be General Obadiah Wilkes of the CSA. I see you have lofty goals. We like ambition. I could be persuaded. What else have you to offer? Well, information. I mean, we've been living here our whole lives. Excellent. We could use someone on the ground. What's your plan? Right now, getting you out of here. After that, we'll follow your lead. We'll be your guerrilla fighters in the jungles. If you can get me my weapons, we will make a fast escape. Will do. All right, that was a pretty quick scene. All yep. Right. All right, so answer is, uh, uh, Wilkes helped him escape, pretty simple. Yep. Ah, what did I do? There we go, I got stuff back. I wonder what happens if we both try and edit something at the same time that handles that probably nicely. nothing good <laughs> <laughs> my guess is that whoever the last saved is going to overwrite mm. i don't know though i don't know that it necessarily here i'm going to open something for edit see if you can open it for edit too okay we can open i've opened the scene right. yeah does it block you yeah yeah no, i was able to open it so it must be it must be optimistic um, <laughs> and not worrying about locking. So, so it we'll probably careful. whoever yeah yeah we could overwrite is my guess. Whoever the last save is gonna gonna be the dictator of reality. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, that was uh, that was your scene, mm -hmm. right? Yes, okay. It was. So where okay, do we so, go now? Um, so we've both gone, and that means then. Is the There's focus remain the same, or do we do one more? No, no. Uh, okay. But I'm going to pick a legacy. Okay. So, uh, and then 
legacies are a little weird to me in the rules. I think what it is, is just sort of a way of sort of um, moving, th keeping things from being too focused on the focus. Okay. So let's read the rules. Uh, choose a legacy. Player to the right of the current lens as something else is got to get my head around is right and left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, player to the right of the current lens. Pick something that appeared during this uh, focus and makes it a legacy. Same player creates an event or dictated scene that relates to one of the legacies. Okay. So I'm going to add the legacy of okay. the new Confed States of America. And that should appear down in the legacies list, right? Mm -hmm. there it Got is. it. Okay. Right. And then I get to create an event. And oh, I think that's also what it is. It helps us flesh out some of this other stuff. Okay. So, um, because I'm free to put this, as long as it relates to that, I'm free to put it anywhere. Got it. Oh, so you click and drag that then in somewhere into the the timeline. Oh, no, I, create, I, I just, above. Create, just create a period. Oh, okay, got right. it. Um, let's see. I just want to read the rules to make sure. Okay, yep, that's it. All right. All right, now where do I want them to come into this? Uh, let's create a new... Uh, do I want to it does say one earth movement. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's settled at yeah, that point. Yeah. Um, okay. New... Nationalism. Uh, I don't want to. You're creating a new period? Yeah, I want to do it right after One Earth Movement. That makes sense. To new me. CSA leads national uh, counter revolution. Against the OEM. Okay. And where did that go? I don't know. I don't see it right now. It might go. Does it do it under the legacy and embed it that way? Oh, there it is. No. It went off the side of the. It's on. It. Oh, it it's always, off the side of the screen. It always yeah. tacks on to the end. Got it. Oh, I see. Actually, I'm not seeing it yet. So maybe I just moved it. Okay. But now. Uh, if your screen is like mine, we have one, two, three. We have six columns now. Yes, so, uh, I, I only see five. So let me stretch my screen a little more. No, I still only see five. And I don't have a scroll. What's after? Uh, yeah, I don't have a scroll bar either. I'm using the uh, the arrow keys to move. Oh, arrow keys. Thank you. OK. I was not expecting that. OK, mm -hmm. now I see it. All right, got it. We're good. I can see why they did that to save uh, screen territory. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's because a lot is going to, once you start filling stuff in, this could get really busy very mm -hmm. quickly. Okay, so then that was my job as the lens. And now we, well, as the, uh, sorry, as the legacy player. Okay. Uh, then you cease to be the lens. It becomes me. Right. And uh, I pick a new focus. Okay. Um, before you start the next focus, take a break. Talk about how the game is going, but don't discuss what you want to have later. Okay, so I think I think we're getting off to a pretty good start here. I think so. Yeah. I'm good with it. Okay, so I like how things are coming along so far. Uh, I'm going to make the new focus General Obadiah Wilkes. Ah, you can make a person the focus. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right. Uh, okay. And then going back to the start. Uh, just focus. And then, okay. And then I now, it's a little weird because there's two players. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I get, I get to be, I get to make the legacy and then I get to make one or two more events because I'm now the new lens, but. Got it. Okay. So. 
uh, an event, and I'm going to make an event inside. But since I was the first lens, I did not get to make the legacy. It had to happen after the first the first cycle. Mm -hmm. I got it. Yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah, I think the I haven't read any discussion on this, but I think the legacy is just sort of an excuse to sort of branch out things a little bit. So that makes sense. Yeah. Because if you if you do a focus on say you're doing a DC thing and you focus on Superman and then all you've got in there is Superman stuff, yeah, it's gonna get boring real fast. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, what do I want to do? So we got General Obadiah Wilkes. Mm -hmm. Got it. Wilkes uh, takes Georgia. Ooh. And that's duck. And then... That's an event, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, wait, I put it in the wrong place. Okay, let me delete this guy. Can you drag it? Uh, well, it was a period, and I wanted to make it an event. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I don't think you can convert those. No. Okay. Oh, so you're doing that under that and not the it's new still... CSA leads national counter revolution mm. against the OEM? Good point. Good point. Yeah, let's put it in there. So let's, okay. let's a good test to see if I can drag it into another event. Uh, nope, I can only drag it up. Okay. Nope. Where to go now? Okay. It just so I'll have to, the to, I'll have the to delete it and create it again. Got it. Good to know. Okay. Okay. So Wilkes takes Georgia. And... That's definitely a big event. <laughs> so you got a question for that? Or are you going to do a scene? Mm, that's a good question. Or do you want to leave that for now? Yeah, let's just leave that one for now. Okay. okay. Uh, I feel like I've, I've, gone, I've done a lot right now, so I'm going to not take my second event okay okay so uh, i'm still the lens but it's your turn okay uh so i still need to build on general obadiah wilkes as the focus right mm -hmm. um hmm want a scene or do we want an event so he got to brack out something happens he's leading the revolution um uh new event okay it's a new event in the same period um so i'm adding an event in that same column that same period that New Orleans declares itself a neutral free trading partner from the CSA and establishes its own defense force. Interesting. All right. Uh, should I say in defiance of? Yeah. In that defiance. Makes, makes the relationship a little bit more clear. Yeah. Of uh, General Wilkes claim of possession. General Wilkes and the CSA's claim of possession. And that is, I'd say, still dark. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, mean, doesn't mean things are good there. No. <laughs> but it kind of makes sense to me. All right, so this is a rule. Actually, this is something we skipped. I'm going to suggest oh, okay. because we have two players, we're going to continue skipping it where the lens finishes the focus with one more yeah. move. Just because, yeah, with two I think people, that's silly. yeah, there's like you get like six rule. Uh, we take, we go. I do six, you do one. You do six, I do one. Back and forth like that. So. Yeah, I think this is much better for two player. Yeah. Okay. So then that was the event that you added, and then it's my turn to add something. Yes. Something else this could use as an indicator of who the lens is. That would be useful. Player. Yeah. That would be useful. It would be useful to actually see who the players were, like with little icons or something like that, well, so that you know who they are. Here, but yeah. Oh, yeah. One. Um, oh, there they are. Uh, ultimately, if everyone gets green screens, I can like 
put people in the corners. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, um, all right. We're still telling I've you. I've got one. I just didn't drag it out for today. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, ah. I'm going to add an event in the future. Okay. Spelling is so embarrassing. Okay. All the way over in Earth becomes uh, center of Galactic Empire. The statue of General Wilkes is torn down in Georgia. <laughs> I don't know what inspired that. I have no idea. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. All right. And <coughs> then Oh, I just did the thing that we, I wasn't I said we weren't going to do where I was the lens and I took another turn. Oh, okay. Uh, um, I'm okay. Let's, yeah, let's just keep it. One. Okay. Let's so then, leave it. I like uh, it. So then you do uh the you add a legacy. So you don't remove the current one? Okay. And it, describe to me again what a legacy is so that I do it, pro okay. define it appropriately. Uh, you pick something that appeared during the last focus and make it a legacy. Okay. So we didn't really have that much. We have the statue. Oh, um. And we uh, also have the uh, New Orleans. Yeah, we do. Oh, um, gonna add a, add an event in the period Earth joins the space tunnel network. Mm -hmm. New Orleans becomes a a central hub of trading for the tunnel network. Mm. That's how they get some power later, maybe. I don't know. That's not dark. That's light. I see that as light. I see it as dark. You see it as dark? Yeah. Okay. Let's leave it then. No, I mean, I, I, I'm visually seeing the interface as dark. Oh, okay. If you yeah. For, to, for it to be light, you can go. I did. It. I did accidentally do it as as dark. I meant for it to be light. I meant. Okay. I thought you meant. You, <laughs> I you, envision you, it. You think you you envision it as being dark? Yes. All right. And so, was... oh, wait, did I need to add that as a legacy down yes. below New Orleans? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, so going forward um, with the legacies, you declare, you add a, something to the legacy, but you don't necessarily have to play the one that you added. Oh, so I could have added, I could have played something from New Confederate States of America if I wanted. Uh -huh. Okay. Got it. Um, and let me see. The legacies eventually start getting removed. Okay. Well, that makes I think sense. It's probably, Otherwise, you're kind of limited. Yeah, I think there's probably just one per player. So I, my next turn, I'll remove a legacy and put a new one in there. Got it. Choose a legacy. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem to be on my cheat sheet here, but okay. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Um, and I think it's then... Yeah, and then it goes back to you to define a new focus, right? I think so. Yeah. Um, my focus is going to be on space tunnels. I'm going to use my whiteboard to keep track of who the lens is. Okay, sure. And as the lens, I can now add the period or an event and a scene, right? Or... Uh, you can add a period and then an event inside that, or you can add an event and a scene inside that. Ooh, okay. Um, 
I have another event within the period for Earth joins the Space Tunnel Network. Um, Earth outsources much of its manual labor to, <laughs> let's say, corporate Earth. Mm -hmm. Much of its manual labor to um, to the Vinians who are slave masters. All right. Sound good? Yeah. That's dark. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Um. I'm good with leaving that there for now. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to add an event also under Earth Drains of Space Tunnel Network. Okay. Solar system is flooded. This is going to shame me into learning how to actually spell. <laughs> it's flooded by alien tourists. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> is that a light event? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what like brings all this diversity of technology and stuff here. Ah. Okay, so... Okay. So you were the lens. I've taken my turn. Then we're we're skipping the part where the lens takes another turn. Right. And then I determine a legacy. Okay. So, so you're going to drop new Confederate States of America and I determine will. a new new one. Got Although it. technically I could drop New Orleans. Okay. Like, yeah, that makes can, sense too. Yeah, we can come up immediately. Okay. So um Alien tourists. I love it. All right. And then that makes me the new lens. And uh, to find focus. I want something a little lighter. Uh, uh, I hear a lot of typing. I'm looking forward to seeing what shows up. <laughs> Alien influence on the system. Mm. All these tourists here. We've got, got it. Uh, we've got aliens on Titan. So things that are changing because of the alien influence. Got it. Um, all right. Uh, so and then I want to create a period under the Titan occupation. Um, Is it a period or you want an event? Sorry, event is what I meant. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I like so the like, that the Xylex has two capital X's in it. <laughs> that was a typo, but I'm going with it. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Uh, so I got to make a decision about what they're doing there and what their agenda is. Oh, are okay. they intelligent or are they an infestation? Um, it's an infestation. Or an that I... <laughs> <laughs> um, What is it when you just sort of, I don't know, just uh, the Zyx begin tearing down. The moon apart. Mm. And. Dyson sphere Ooh. around Jupiter. They're forming a Dyson sphere around Jupiter? Holy shit. Uh, is that light or dark? I guess it would have to be dark. That seems pretty dark to me. Yeah. Titan's a moon of Jupiter, right? Or is it yeah. Moon of okay. No, no, it's not a moon of Jupiter. It's a moon of, uh, it's uh, further out. It's, uh, I think, Neptune? All right, we have to look that one up. Uh, I do too. 
Is moon on? No, it's Saturn. Saturn. Okay. Saturn. You're so right. So let's change this to Saturn Duh. just because it makes more okay. sense. Okay. Okay. Cool. Maybe Jupiter is too massive, too big. Saturn's a little bit more. Well, and maybe the rings have something to be helpful with that mm -hmm. for. You know. I guess I could add to that. All right, and then I'm not going to create. Well, let's actually let's create a scene inside that. Okay. Um, question is. Uh, what happened to Correct on my spelling. What happened to the representatives of Earth who journeyed to Titan to investigate? Ooh. I am not spelling journeyed right under any circumstances. It seems like I'll just stick with that one. Looks, looks like it's close. Okay, so scene would be on. Um, on the spaceship, on the exploring spaceship, the the what's the the bridge? I am not seeing that showing up on my time. Oh, I haven't added it yet. Let me. Oh, okay, that's why. Never mind. That's okay. Add it so you have something to look at. <clears throat> oh, I was what happened to representatives of Earth who journeyed to Titan to investigate? Ooh. Uh, the bridge of the. Commercial troll her. Um, let's name that Starfire. No, that's not a dumb name. Uh, I can only think of dumb names now. Space Dust. <laughs> 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 Laser Break. All right. So, uh, this would, God, I would like to play this out, but I think we need more than two people because it'd be yeah, multiple maybe. people. Well, on we the can bridge. play. We can play secondary characters, as I recall. Yeah, I was thinking like if if we had more people, we could play the characters on the bridge, and one person can play time. Okay. And that would oh, be the, the yeah the aliens coming forward. Um, I was, so I'm just going to make this just one. Let's not play this one out. Um, okay. Uh, torn apart by the, uh, and repurposed by the Xelix. Oh, wow. So they're builders. Yeah. There's like a mindless, like ant kind of consciousness. They just go places and tear things down and rebuild. Hmm. Without understanding. All right. Boom, boom. Okay, I'm still lens, but now it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to add an event. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't need to do anything with the legacy, just the focus right, right. now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think you'll like this one. Okay. So this is a light event in that same timeline. 
A peace treaty is reached between the OEM and the Xylex, giving them autonomy at Saturn in assistance with their war <laughs> against the Kylans and their allies. All right. We don't really need Saturn, I guess. They can... <laughs> if we get to keep the rest of it. If we get to keep everything else, then they're happy there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then boom, boom. Uh, we're skipping the part where I take another turn, so then now you get to do a legacy. Okay, so I can remove a legacy and add a new one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and you just right-click and remove it, or is it, oh, you click on it and delete. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to remove New Orleans for now. And I'm going to add, because we don't have a lot of early history yet. Um, I'm going to add Dr. Constance McGillicuddy. Uh, so I like what you're thinking, but unfortunately we can only add legacies oh. to things that were introduced in the last round. Oh, in the last round. Got it. Never mind. Um, can I say the Kylan War? Sure. Or is that a period? It can, uh, it can be both. Okay. Okay. And now, and... now that you're focused, you can make the focus... Dr. Constance McGillicuddy. Right, but I don't want to. I'm going to make it two-fisted people of science. All right. Because we haven't done anything with that yet. And we'll come back to Constance. Mm -hmm. She has two fists. And she does. Um, unless there was a bad lab accident or something. <laughs> uh, she does. Um, all right, the Kylan Ward. That does sound like... Um, Something that should happen after the... Yeah, I'm going to add a period. I'm going to call it the Kylan War. And it's definitely dark. All right. And does that happen after? That has to happen before the other period that we had. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I'm going to add an event... And I have to put a two-fisted person of science into this. I'm going to come back to a name in a minute. Okay, <laughs> Professor X. <laughs> TM. Um, yes. Has um, um, Okay, so I've got to come up with a name, and this should be light, not dark. Sorry about that. So let's think of a name for the person. So Professor So-and-so finds a key weakness of the Kylans. Um, Do you have a book close by with some credits in it? Um, no. Professor Charles Yang finds right. a key weakness to the, of the Kylans. Okay. Charles Yang is a person now. He's right. a two -fist, he's a two-fisted person of science. All right, I like this one because it allows us to jump all over the place. So, uh, yep. Uh, let's flesh out Doctor Constance a little bit. Okay. Dr. McGillicuddy foils. Uh, we're just going to heap on the Kylans as a bad guy. Okay. Foils Kylan plan to. Yeah, the Kylans do seem to be the big bad of our yeah. of our story. Okay, Dr. McKillicuddy foils Kylan plan to trick Earth, Earth scientists, into building a large bomb. Ooh. So, like, the radio's up, and they, they, they start following the instructions, 
And then she's like, wait, I'm taking that U out of McGillicuddy. I not like not it. that that makes it any spelled any better, but. Okay. All right. So that was my turn. And then I guess I do the legacy thing. Yes. All right. Mm -mm. Tylen Ward just kind of feels a little redundant, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay. And um, add as a legacy early communications. That's a good one. I like it. And. Um, I'm going to add another event under this first period and journalists clamor for clamor to, to interview earthlings and that's a light one. Clamor. Is that even a word? Yeah. C L A M M O U R? Because spell check's not. Uh, no, C L C L A M O U R, I believe. Clamor, like a noise or a commotion? C L M O R. Oh, O R? Uh, maybe that's my British brain going into <laughs> play. There you go. Alien right. journalists clamor to interview Earthlings. I like that. That's hilarious. Uh, okay, and now and, I'm okay. So then, I'm done. Yep. Wait, no, you no no you did yours. Yeah, yeah. Then that makes me the lens. Now you're the lens. <clears throat> All right, now I get to redefine a focus. All right. Um... Got a lot of war stuff. Um... Mm -hmm. End of the CSA. Okay. That's a good <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> we need that somewhere in there. Where does that ha where are you putting that? Oh that's just the focus. Oh that's the focus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now I create a period, a scene. Period or an event okay. and a scene, right? Yeah. Or you okay. can do two nested things. Mm-hmm. So I'm okay. thinking inside this new CSA lead, this is, like, this is their last hurrah, this uh, period, new CSA lead counter revolution. Okay. Um, okay, so the event is the final battle at, uh, bah, 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 bah. what's a good symbolic place for them to have their final battle? Uh... Oh, let's say Atlanta. Okay, that's a good place. You talked about Georgia being their mm -hmm. their their beachhead, right? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like Robo Sherman, <laughs> <laughs> Just this giant General Sherman robot. I love it. Uh, okay. Uh, how did Robo Sherman? <laughs> Break the uh, back of the new CSA. Uh, and then the scene would be on the battlefield. Okay. Okay, so. And that's light. Uh, okay, so. Uh, we need Robo Sherman. And yep. how about General Wilkes? Do you want to be General Wilkes? Yeah, I'll do General Wilkes for this one. All right. So where's Jim? I take it you're your Robo Sherman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, and we're on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. mm, Boom. Okay. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Is that your footsteps? Yep. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have to declare thoughts in this or no? Uh, was that something? Can't remember. 
Let's see, I can't remember scenes. scenes. Oh, That's right. I remember seeing. Yeah, role play what your character does and thinks. No, yeah, nope, that's what really. it says. In, yep. No, I guess we don't have to. Um, just we have to role play it. Mm -hmm. um, by God, I'm not going to let my land be taken from me again. We gave it up to the Yankees before, and I hell if I'm going to see it go to a robot. <laughs> Big PA system. Yep. General Take Sherman, uh, General Wilkes, shoot. cease and desist. Your actions are opposed to unity. Give me liberty or give me death. Are those your preferred options? He says nothing. And then this, on his screen, on his chest, like a click with OK comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Sherman takes out both of his ray guns and he starts shooting. <laughs> I mean, not Sherman, uh, yes. uh, Wilkes. Wilkes. Answer is implied. Goodbye, General Wilkes. Stomp. <laughs> I take it he stomped right into the ground. Dead. I'm good with that. I, be I became Liberty Prime there, but. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> A little different from the Sherman that's in uh, what was that uh, Millennium, the uh, the book and the movie. I'm not familiar with that one. Oh yeah, later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so that was my two events. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so to you. All right, so now it is. The focus is still end of the new CSA. End of the new CSA. Okay, so we've got that on. The table, I like that. Um, um, oh, new event Earth establishes, um, after, after the successful defeat of Wilkes. Earth becomes one government. All right. That could be a period, too. Could be. I like it better as a scene. Okay. I'm not seeing an event. I'm just doing it as an event. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. And... That's a light event, I think. Yeah. All right. And then you get to pick a legacy. Okay. Um... Hmm. Early communications and alien tourists. I like both of those, actually. Do I have to put a new legacy? That's a good question. I maybe I it's technically not. push us along. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, it relates to that um okay um and define the focus is going to be or i if i don't declare a new legacy then the existing legacy stay you have to now. play off one of those okay i have to play off of one of those so either alien tourists or early communications i have to play off of in relation to um we haven't explored tight space let's do that okay and um i'm going to add whoops can't scroll that way, scroll that way. Dr. McGillicuddy is there. Building a large bomb. Um, okay, I'm going to add an event after the large bomb where um, Dr. McGillicuddy
uh, decodes plans for interplanetary drive. Oh, it's not dark, damn it. That's a light thing. Uh, light. Okay. Um, and that's it for now. Okay. I don't really have a scene for that. But I think it's worth worthwhile. All right. All right, so tight space, tight space, tight space. Ah. Uh, what happens over here? Um... I'm going to add an event under on me. the last period right here and that. Uh, okay. Uh, interstellar. Come on, that's a, I spelled that right, didn't I? Come on. <laughs> apparently, apparently not. Interstellar. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. Uh, okay, interstellar mass transportation becomes cheap and accessible, and I'm adding that under Earth becomes center of galactic empire. Got it. So that's towards the early part of that phase. So I'm okay. Just move it ahead of the the General Wilkes thing, but. Okay. All right. Now um, it's your turn for legacy, I yes. think. Yes. Okay. So. <clears throat> Which one do I want to get rid of? I think we fleshed out early communications pretty good, so let's go okay. ahead and delete that one for now. It can come back. There's no reason it can't be brought back. Right. Um, Professor Charles Yang. Okay. Um, but I'm going to... Let's see. I want to play off alien tourists. Okay. But, uh, when did alien tourists start? They were way over here, right? Yeah. Um, there's all those travel shows on cable, but... Oh, 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 okay. Uh, Earth Joint, Space Tunnel Network, okay. Um, a scene underneath solar system is flooded by alien uh, tourists. Okay. Uh, uh, Prince from the Reefies system is arrested for public intoxication. Oh my. Oh, that's not the question though. Uh, uh, okay. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, no. What are the implications? Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, the scene uh, is a bar in Dubai. Oh my. All right, so uh, Prince Aphis. All right, so then. I don't know if this is gonna end light or dark. Okay, so we need a Prince Aphis and we need an okay. authority. Okay, save it so I can see. Then you can edit it. There we go. Yeah. Prince Aphis from the Reefies system is arrested for public intoxication. What are the implications at a bar in Dubai? Um, mm, uh, wow, this is difficult. Um, so we definitely need Prince Aphis. Mm -hmm. We got that. Um, we need... Some or, sort of authority to arrest him. We could um, be the person, the diplomat, who's trying to get Prince Aphis off the hook. Oh, there could be. 
could be. Um, that could be a secondary character or a primary character. I th I think we make the police in these primary or secondary characters. Okay. The and then um, I like the diplomat. Um, so I will be. Um, uh, and but you're going to have to be one of the authorities That's though fine. if I'm the diplomat, and then I'll be um, whatever other secondary character we need in there. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let's get this diplomat a name. Uh, Prince Aphis. Um, Aphis. I don't know why, just Ren. Diplomat uh, Callus <laughs> Ren. Okay. Okay, so Callus Ren is coming into the station. Uh, yes. To I guess are we gonna do? Oh, I thought it was a bar in Dubai. You want to change it to the police station? Oh, you good point. Do it at that the point be... of the arrest, or do you want it to get him out of out of uh, um, out of incarceration? Uh, let's police station. I think the police station is better. So, um, uh, and are the reefies humanoid or alien, uh, alien could, looking? Yeah, I would say probably humanoid. Uh, one of the more human seeming aliens, but they probably have like blue skin and frills. Yeah, or something, like that. something weird. Yeah, that distinguish. Okay, blue blue skin and frills and stuff. Um, this very very well dressed, um, fairly thin and uh, and kind of haughty um, alien comes into the police station. I need to speak to someone in authority. Uh, you're speaking to the authorities. Can I see. You? you have in custody someone who you should not have. He has diplomatic immunity. Prince Aphis, I understand he's here. Uh, he, he is certainly here. Uh, he made quite a commotion. Um... That is not of interest to me. You will release him immediately. The... We have very strict rules about public nudity and intoxication here in Dubai. And the, the debate of whether or not these apply in the Quran is, is a matter that needs to be settled before we can release him. I see. And how would it be if you had to explain to your superiors why there's now a giant hole where Dubai used to be? I'm going to have to kick this upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so dubai, please do yeah uh, <laughs> given the threat of violence you know, dubai is only you know they only have money really they don't have a military so i think that would probably be okay so what are the implications then of threatening <laughs> <laughs> oh wait or maybe they they end up having to use force Ooh. uh mm, that, that could being... be that could be part of why one Earth government can respond better to threats like yeah. this than separately. Yeah. Okay. So maybe uh... Dubai has nuked. <laughs> <laughs> Dubai. Or do they let him go? Do they let him go or not? Oh, I don't think they will. Yeah, I think they'll okay. they'll, they'll uh, digs in their heels. And. Loses. Well, we don't want to kill. We wouldn't kill the prince, of course. We'd rescue the prince right. first. So I'm saying they dig in their heels and they lose a short war with them. Uh, uh, loses a short interstellar war. Yeah, we keep the beach front because we we're amused by it. <laughs> <laughs> uh they do basically surgically. Okay, here's what here's what the the reefies do. They surgically take out the areas of Dubai that are that are probably the most populous or the most where central power is located, mm -hmm. but leave all the good touristy spots that they <laughs> they take advantage of. Are they occupying afterwards? Sure. All right. They happen to like that area. I guess it's 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 like their idea of a vacation on their home world, mm -hmm. but better. 
Um, you don't get you don't get burned you don't get you don't get uh, you don't get uh, <laughs> bad burns on Earth compared to back on their home world. All right, and that will be dark. I mean, it is a lost war. Um, oh hell yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see how that then leads into fueling the One Earth movement. Nice. Yes. Right. That made sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So do I add something now or no? Or okay, so you were no, the lens wait. and that was my extra thing. So, oh, yes. Yeah. So now I add a legacy. Oh, no, no, that was my legacy. No, that was your legacy. So uh, I am now the lens. Okay. All right. Uh, how do you feel about like one more round and then we're done? Yeah. Okay. I think we got a pretty good fleshed out system here. Um, I think we do. It's very yeah. interesting. It's gone in totally different directions <laughs> than I expected. And it's it's far less space opera than I thought. Mm -hmm. But it has elements of that. We yeah. haven't really gotten into the laser rays and stuff like that. But um, it's... Well, I got a little bit there. We got mm -hmm. some in the battle with Robo Sherman. And we got some uh, from ships going on in uh, in Dubai. So... And a mention of them with the Kylans. I'm going to focus on the Kylan War because I okay. think we can wrap that up. Yeah, I think so. Kylan War comes to an end. All right, so we got. Professor, I want to focus on Professor y Charles Yang, too. Actually, I should just do that. Okay. Make him the. Make him the focus as yep. well as being a legacy. Oh okay. yeah, he is a legacy too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right. So, um, and you're the focus. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, I'm gonna scroll over and see what we're missing. I'm just going to call it Hong Kong University. Okay. Charles Ying is accepted to Hong Kong University at age 13. That's an event inside the war. Okay, yeah. that's probably before the other, yeah. right? Yeah, move it okay. up a little bit. <laughs> um, all right, and then I'm going to create a scene then underneath his other one. Okay. Um, ooh, okay, so how does he discover the weakness of the alien? Well, that's the question. Yeah. All right, oh, well, yeah. What's he a professor of? We don't know yet, do we? No, I'm thinking biology. Okay, makes sense. Or xenobiology. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. So he's so a wunderkind. He's mm -hmm. brilliant. Yeah, so even though he's a professor, he might be like 18 or something. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Do we need a Kylan in this or not? We don't necessarily. Oh, yeah, good point. Ooh, okay. That's even better. Um, the is it other is, aliens or uh, other stuff? Yang with his uh, re girl friend. Okay. With his Reefus girlfriend. Okay. Uh, Donuts. Oh. I'll play the girlfriend. Okay. Uh, and, okay, so that's that's not really... That's Where are we going to be? Yeah, yeah, that's the cast. Where are we going to be? Uh, okay. So I'm thinking like... After sex? <laughs> <laughs> 
chatting um oh. are, do they have a long distance relationship or are they up are they uh she is um or is she see. studying there or or another professor there maybe she might be studying earth okay she so she came to the university to, to study in this species okay so okay. Oh, okay uh the the diplomat's daughter got it Dunas Wren. What's his name? I can't remember what his other name was. The other guy. Something Wren. Uh, Prince Aphis. I named him. Yeah, Prince Aphis is diplomat. I can't remember. Oh, it was something Wren. Yeah, we didn't write it down. Yeah, we didn't write it down. But that, the fact that she's his daughter is cool. So. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so this is our cast and. What's he where tricks, are we at? He like he, he, he like tricks the information out of her somehow. Okay. All right. That's uh, a good studying. All right. Okay. So say she starts with, she's got questions for him about humanity. Okay. So where are we at when we're doing this? Are we out at dinner? Are we school library? School library. Okay. We're, we're studying for midterms. Okay. So, oh, we're still students at this oh. point. He's, our, our Actually, he's professors. already a professor. Yeah. Yeah. Or do you want to move the scene to earlier? Yeah, let's move it earlier. up. Okay. Except would it be uh, up if you're just discovering the weakness? I think it has to be here. Okay. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Conference or dinner while he's at a conference oh, or something? She's his uh, grad student. Oh, grad student. So let's change student. the relationship. Okay. Okay. So she's okay, trying to get information out of him, and he it turns it around and gets information out of her. Okay. Um, and xenobiology. Um, okay, so he's a professor of xenobiology. I think we've established that, right? Mm -hmm. So she'd be studying that or some, uh, probably from an alien perspective to better understanding humans. Yeah, to get kind of meta about it. She, like, she is a xenobiologist come to Earth to see how they study alien species. So like, okay, you know, how, like some courses of graduate study get very myopic and very specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this in a in a thesis defense or something maybe oh, or yeah, that works okay um hmm okay yes yeah, well, so i don't so know how to role play that though i'm trying to think of how to make that work okay but that's I okay mean, yeah, i mean do you have some you ideas know, i was thinking like um she's defending her thesis and he <clears throat> asks a question Okay. That it, the answer is what he needs, but in order to defend her, th her thesis, she has to answer this question, even though it's technically secret, confidential information. Okay. Yeah. So he tricks the information, uh, tricks it out of her uh, during um, her dissertation. Humans are a weak species. <laughs> so many other species of the galaxy are far superior it's amazing that you've been able to achieve all that you have in such a short period of time especially with all your vulnerabilities <laughs> none of the other races have vulnerabilities such as yours you're so weak i'm certain you can think of at least one example oh There's so many species here i mean a weakness you just take it into a different place a strength can become a weakness right it depends. I suppose if someone's used to high gravity and they come to a lower gravity system, they'll have to cope with different things and vice versa. Oh. Taking notes under the table. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think that's good enough. Are you good yeah, enough? Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it there. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, okay, so that was then I was the lens and that was, yeah, did I add both of those? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so then it's your turn. 
Okay, so we've got that. We now know how we tricked her out of it and got the information, even though she didn't realize she gave anything up. Mm -hmm. um, Titan is occupied by the Xylex. We explored that well, I think. Um, alien tourists. Oh, I, I want to keep alien tourists as a legacy. I'm going to keep those there and define the focus as one Earth government oh, again. We're not to the legacy yet. Oh, we're not to yeah, the legacy yeah, yet. Okay. Oh, that's right. Focus. We can't do that. It's still on the focus. So it still has to be Charles Yang. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we could go with him in the next period, though. Maybe he's the one who's partially responsible for the negotiation for the peace treaty. So I'm oh. going to add an event before that. Or can I add just a scene in that? Sure. Let's just add a scene. Um, how was the agreement reached? Scene is uh, Professor Charles Yang and um, Katek, Queen of the Xylex. <laughs> Why not? Um, held on an orbital platform of um, Saturn following a battle with heavy casualties on both sides. Okay. Okay, and this is light, I'm going to say. Okay. So there we go. Um, who would you like to be? I'll be the queen. Okay. Now I'm Professor Charles Yang. Mm -hmm. So how about we go into this assuming they, they can't communicate very well? Um, let's say that our languages are so different mm -hmm. that we've had to use um, computer interpretations. So sometimes it's mm -hmm. a little bit difficult because their language is full of clicks and other types of strange sounds that we just don't have translations for. Okay. Um, so it could be a little bit awkward, but we are trying to communicate because both sides have is, experienced heavy losses. And this was um, something that I think Charles Yang is the one who has an idea of how to make it come to pass. All right. Computer voice. What is it, Professor Yang? We understand that our losses are unacceptable to both of our species. He waits for the translation. Mm -hmm. Does she respond in any way? Our losses can be replaced. Ours sadly cannot. And I don't think all of yours can easily either. You're running out of resources. Resources is what we came here for. What if there was a way to for you to have your resources and perhaps for us to work together on a common enemy? Explain. The Kylans are coming in to try to take possession of our solar system, as you know. We fought them off before, we've won that war, but we still fight them on other fronts. We could use you as an alliance. If we were to perhaps, we understand you need resources. If you, we gave you the safe haven and let you keep Saturn for yourselves and know that you were safe here and protected, as long as you don't try to expand beyond that, could you be happy? No, oh, need more no. resources. Perhaps claim on the Kyber Belt as well. Hmm. We're not really doing that much there. Although perhaps we can work together on mining some of those. Some of the things that you see a little less important to you might be useful to Earth. Agreed. Then let me take this back to my superiors and we will discuss a potential armistice if, you, if this is acceptable to you and your species. We negotiations can begin. I think that's good. Yep. 
All right, so yeah. Uh, in exchange for mining rights in the Kyber Belt, they joined the Alliance. Yep. Are you entering that or? Oh, I... uh, yeah, I'm going to enter that. And boom. Does that sound right? Yep. Exchange for additional mining rights in the Kuiper Belt with humans having the first rights to resources not deemed useful by the Xylex, the treaty is formed. Cool. And, uh, awesome. And you want to do end one game? <laughs> okay. Let's end just scene, or do we want to do one more? You could I think do we're one good more at ending if you it. Want, but ah, uh, what can we do? Um, okay, I, if we're gonna do that, I'm gonna keep alien tourists, <laughs> and I want to because I think. Um, where are alien tourists in the timeline? I gotta scroll back. Yeah, I think this sort of fleshes the story out a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna also do one Earth government again. Mm -hmm. As the focus. And um, I'm going to add an event that is a class war between human trillionaire profiteers and those left with nothing erupts. <laughs> okay, that's an event. All right. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I think that's a good transition into the One Earth movement to mm -hmm. me. Did you save it? Uh, I did. Did you? Are you not seeing it yet? Oh, you may have to movement? scroll down. It's oh, under it uh, okay, Earth gotcha. joins the space tunnel network. Gotcha. All right, excellent. All right, so let's go over it one last time. We started with Doctor Constant McGillicuddy inventing the space uh, radio. Yeah. Uh, the Kyran Kylans try, first try and beam them instructions to building a large bomb, which she avoids. Instead, uh, deconstructs that into uh, instructions for the interplanetary drive. Yeah. Um, with communications open, uh, journalists of both sides probably clamor back and forth to interview these new species. Yeah. Um, with the interstellar drive then from the first period, uh, Earth then joins the space tunnel network. Uh, New Orleans becoming a central hub of trade for this tunnel network. Uh, corporate Earth outsources much of the manual labor to the Vinians, who are slave masters. So good for Earth, not good for the other world. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, solar system is, <laughs> and then Earth benefits from that and never questions it again. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> A little too real. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, solar system is flooded by alien tourists, including the Prince Aphis, who makes a scene in Dubai, leading to the Dubai Ali uh, Reefus War, uh, which Dubai loses. But... Which ends pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, in an afternoon. <laughs> that and worldwide sort of class uh, structure uh, leads us into the One Earth Movement, um, which is uh, me immediately uh, uh, faces their first challenge with the invasion of the Kaelins. Uh, during this war, the new CASA betrays humanity for exchange for some of the territory that they want, uh, siding with this alien species. Um, after the, even if the, the initial invasion fails, the new CSA leads national counter-revolution against the One Earth movement all over the world. Uh, Wilkes takes Georgia. Uh, new Orleans breaks off from the, uh, the new CSA uh, to form itself a free trade partner with all parties. Um, the battle finally ends in Georgia uh, with the Robo Sherman squashing General Wilkes. <laughs> uh, but we, then we move into a successful One Earth government phase. Uh, when the Kylans return with their full-on war, not just a simple invasion folk, uh, fortunately, uh, genius student Charles Yang, xenobiologist, discovers a weakness uh, known to the other alien species of the Kylans, and he's able to play that uh, in the war. Uh, but um, while the war is happening, the Zelix have been occupying and uh, taking over Titan, which has not gone well. So we're sort of facing a war on two fronts here, but with uh, Charles Yang, diplomacy is reached uh, to uh, side with the Xylex, concede Titan, some of the Kyber Belt, and form an alliance with the uh, Xylex against the Kylans. And then finally, Earth becomes a galactic empire, uh, center of a galactic empire, 
Um, mass transportation is affordable and cheap, and General Wilkes' legacy is torn down. I love it. Yeah. That, that feels like a story. <laughs> it totally does. <laughs> it's a little less uh, Flash Gordon-y than I would have expected from our <laughs> initial uh, title, but you know, I, I think it's very interesting. You just put some fins on things, and, and spark. <laughs> all the jet engines are sparks, and it, it's certainly Flash Gordon. It totally works. <laughs> And, you know, little mini skirts and, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to say that everything we generated here, we're releasing on uh, attribution share alike Creative Commons. So you do whatever you want with it, just attribute it to us. And also anything released uh, based on this is also attributed under the same license. Uh, Mark, thank you very much for this experiment. I think this Thanks, went well. Tone. And I think it uh, was a lot of fun. I'm going to edit this down a little bit and then we'll post it on YouTube. Sounds great. All Look right. forward to it. All right. Have a good one. You too.